Hi, now we're going to briefly discuss an introduction to reaction stoichiometry. We've already discussed, you know, parts of a chemical equation that we have a reactants on one side, which produce the products on the other side, and we discuss the need for balancing these chemical equations. And again, these chemical equations are just kind of like a recipe, what you mix together and what's produced. So let's look at uh, an introduction to, to reaction stoichiometry. So if we have this balanced chemical equation here, it's telling us that if we take one mole of nitrogen, because there's a coefficient of one here, and we add it to three moles of uh, diatomic hydrogen, that we're going to produce two moles of ammonia. So it's the coefficients in front that tell us the relationship between everything in the balanced chemical equation. So using those coefficients, then we can create a bunch of conversion factors to convert from moles of one thing to moles of something else in the equation. So this tells us that one mole of N2 is equivalent to three moles of H2. So that's the relationship between nitrogen and hydrogen within the uh, reactants. We also can see that if we have one mole of N2, then we're going to produce two moles here. So one mole of N2, we'd end up producing two moles of NH3. And then we also have this relationship. If we have three moles of hydrogen, we're going to get two moles of ammonia. So you could say that for every three moles of H2 we have, we would produce two moles of NH3. So let's look at a typical stoichiometry question like this. It says, if you have 0 0.75 moles of N2 gas, how many moles of H2 gas is needed to completely react? And this is the kind of thing you might ask yourself if you're working in a manufacturing plant, you're trying to produce an H3, right? You don't want to mix the things in the wrong proportions because then you'd be wasting reactants and it wouldn't be very cost efficient. So what we're starting with is we're starting with our 0 0.75 moles of nitrogen. And where we're headed it says how many moles of H2. So we need to know the relationship between moles of H2 and moles of N2. Right? And you can see here that one of our conversion factors says there's one mole of N2 for every three moles of H2. So there are three moles of H2 for every one mole of N2. And we're getting that from our balanced equation. We need three H2s for every one N2 in our reaction. So our moles of N2 are going to cancel, and it's going to leave us with moles of H2, and this would be 2.25 moles of hydrogen. 